down that hallway. If you have to use the restrooms, please try to keep them neat because we share them with another office. We want to stay good neighbors. So help us out by keeping the restrooms neat. All right. Uh, we're going to take a short tour as a group. I'm just going to quickly show you around, show you a, a few of the exhibits uh, that we have here at see, and you're going to have some time to explore. Um, then you're going to go down to another exhibit downstairs, and later in the day, you're going to come back up here and explore a little bit more. All right. So, my name is Peter. If you have questions along the way, you feel free to ask. All right. Yes? What's the next thing over this thing right here? Yeah. You'll be able to try those exhibits in a little while. They um, they deal with um, different qualities that water has. Okay. Well, why don't we stand up? I'm going to get started. Slowly, you're going to walk down this way. All right? Follow me. Hey, 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 stay with your team. This way, guys. I know, I gotta take picture of that thing, Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait a minute, get out of the way. So, I mean, I really want to stand there. Just take us well. We're gonna Okay, we want to get to the next place. Stay together, though, girls, okay? There's two things um, that you may not use by yourselves. All the other exhibits here at C, you can use by yourselves. This is one of the exhibits you have to use with me. This is a Van de Graaff generator. It generates electricity. Now, electricity comes in different strengths. Right? How many of you have rubbed a balloon against your head? You rubbed a balloon against your head? Yeah. Uh, that one. It your head in this year. Yes. Rubbing a balloon against your head generates a little bit of electricity. Right? Uh, how many of you have seen light? Lighting is a very powerful form of electricity. It's the same stuff, it just comes in different strengths. Right? This is stronger than rubbing a balloon against your head, but not as strong as light. It's right? somewhere in between. There is one place that all electricity wants to get to. Does anyone know where all electricity wants to go? There's one place electricity wants to get to. Do you know where it is? To the ground. That's right, to the ground. All electricity wants to get to the ground. That's naturally where it likes to go. So when lightning comes down from the sky, where does it go? To the ground. That's right, to the ground, right? Now electricity will travel through things like water. That's why we never swim when there's lightning outside. Electricity can travel through water. Electricity can also travel through most kinds of metal. And electricity can travel through people because our bodies are made of something that electricity likes. And the human body is made mostly of? What is it? Bones. Well, we have a lot of bone in us, but there's actually something else in us that makes up even more than the bone. What do you think? Our heart. Our heart? Well, our heart's pretty small. I'll tell you about that, babe. Mm. What? Blood? What's our blood made mostly of, do you think? Okay. What's the most plentiful liquid on the planet? Papa. <laughs> maybe, maybe under the, under the ground. What is it? Um. What do you mean? Well, our muscles are made mostly of one thing. What is it? What's our skin made mostly of? In the back. In the Water. Back. What? Water. Water, that's right. The human body, believe it or not, is mostly water. It doesn't look like it, doesn't feel like it, but we are mostly water, and that's why electricity can travel through us. And electricity likes to travel through water. Let me plug this in, I'll show you. Now, our Van de Graaff generator, making some electricity. That electricity wants to get to the ground. All right? You might be able to see it jump every once in a while down this metal collar. It's trying to get to the ground. And if I get close to it, it jumps to me. But what it's doing is it's using the water in my body to get to the ground. It's trying to throw me down into the ground where it wants to go. Now this is strong enough. Strong enough to make my pinky jump a little bit. <laughs> Made my hand jump a little bit too. <laughs> it is not, it's not strong enough to make my whole body jump. It's not that strong. Yeah. Does it hurt? Well, it doesn't really hurt, but it doesn't feel really good either. It's a little bit of, it feels about how it sounds, but it's a snap. I can touch the generator. And now the electricity just flows through me to the ground. And I don't feel this at all because electricity doesn't have to jump. 
If it has to jump, I can feel it. If it doesn't have to jump, it goes right to the ground. I don't feel this at all. Do you want to know what this tool is made of? What is it? Plastic. Alright. Does electricity travel through plastic? No. Plastic stops electricity. Electricity does not travel through plastic. So if I stand on this plastic stool and touch the generator, the electricity comes into me. But now where can the electricity go? No. Where can it get to? No. Where? can't get into the ground. It wants to go down to the ground, but it can't get there through me anymore because this plastic stool stops it. So it's still searching for a way to get to the ground. You might be able to hear it. Can you hear it? That electricity wants to go to the ground, so it's still searching for a way to get there. This stool is made of metal. Electricity can travel through most kinds of metal. So as the electricity in me searches for a way to get to the ground, Right, if I get close to this metal stool, the electricity jumps. And it uses that metal to get to the ground. Well, this is the same idea as when lightning strikes. This is the same idea as when lightning strikes a building. It's using that building to get to the ground. Or a tree. It's using that tree to get to the ground. Just like the stool is a way for this electricity to get to the ground. Right? Now, you volunteer to help or someone, someone help me, someone doesn't want to get in shock. Yeah. 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 What's your name? Paige. All right, now the electricity is going to use Paige to get to the ground. Paige, put your finger right here. All right, now electricity is going to jump to you. See it? It's really fast. You can try it one more time. See it? Well, that's the electricity using Paige to get to the ground. All right, Paige, thank you very much for having a seat. Other volunteers, who wants to help me? Someone else? Electricity likes to spread out, especially if it can't get to the ground, it looks for somewhere to go where it can spread out. It doesn't like to be contained in one little spot. There's a place on Stephanie's body that has the ability to spread out. We are going to observe her and find out where that is. Very important part of science is observing. What do you do when you observe something? Anybody know? If you're observing, what are you doing? If you're making observations, what are you doing? Figuring out something? Well, it's not even figuring something out. It's even more simple than that. Boys, if you're observing, what are you doing? What are you doing? Looking, yes. Very important part of science is observing, just watching. See what happens. So your job right now is to be observers. You're going to observe. You're going to make observations. You're going to watch Stephanie. You're just going to look at her. See if anything spreads out in her body. Stephanie, please. Step up here. Put your hand on the generator. We're just going to observe, we're just going to watch. See if anything spreads out in your body. Anybody notice anything? Not yet? Keep observing. Mm -hmm. it's going to go we'll have to look at your classmates and see anything spreading out on your body. What are you noticing? Your, your what? Her hands a little bit? I don't know, maybe anything else might spread out a little more than her hands. Um, what do you think? Her hair can spread out, that's right. So when you shake your head a little bit. Right. Your hair has the ability to spread out. So that's where the electricity goes when it can't get to the ground. It uses your hair to spread out. But now, as soon as Stephanie lets go of the generator and steps on the ground, her hair is going to go down. You can let go. You can step down. Right. So you guys are all right. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, everyone's hair is a little bit different. I'm going to try some different kinds of hair to see how it reacts to the electricity. Right. So some different kinds of hair. Let's try your one. Thank <laughs> you.
trying to get to the ground. If I touch it with the foot, the electricity jumps from there to leg. It jumps from there to the arm. No matter where I try to touch it, the electricity jumps. She gets to the ground. Any volunteers for a demonstration? If you volunteer, you will be shocked. Right. Here's what we're going to do. If you do not want to volunteer, if you don't want to volunteer, stand up and move back. Volunteers, stay seated. If you don't want to volunteer, stand up and move back. Volunteers, I need you to stand up and move back.
not enough to hurt you. The electricity that comes right out of the wall, much more powerful. You all know not to play with that, correct? Yes. All right. Okay. Who can tell me what time it is? 10.35. Now, there's a lot of exhibits I didn't show you. When you come up here to explore a little bit later, uh, you're going to be able to try all those exhibits. They have text explaining what to do, what to look for. So if you get to an exhibit and you don't know what to do, you can read about it. Get some direction back. All right. Now, we have another exhibit here at C that I have to show you. Um, it's called the Moonwalk. And what it does is it simulates the gravity on the moon. But you jump as high as you can jump if you're on the moon. Who can tell me what gravity does? What does gravity do? What is it that gravity does? And it helps you stay on the ground. That's right. If you throw a ball up in the air, it'll come back down. Because what pulls it there? Gravity. Gravity pulls things back down to the ground. Now on the moon, there's only a little bit of gravity. There's actually six times less gravity on the moon than there is here on Earth. So if you can jump one foot off the Earth, you can jump six feet off the moon. Wow. Right? Now, the thing is, you won't all be able to do it before your dinosaur adventure, but you will be able to do it do it after. So, so I'm going to go through as many of you as I can right now, and then you're going to go to the dinosaurs. When you come back to explore later, you're all going to turn. Somebody come here. All right. There is a weight limit for safety reasons. You have to weigh 80 pounds or less. Some of you guys might feel a little strong. Right? You might feel a little more than 80 pounds, but i got a scale on weight here. This is a vest that you would normally find on boats. This vest is connected to a large spring on the ceiling. A big spring up there. What happens is you are in the vest, I push this button, and that spring on the ceiling tightens, and you get lighter. It's as if the gravity goes away. You get lighter. Then you can jump. Two things you must do. Two things. Number one, hang out of these straps and fall because the vest goes up. You don't want the vest up around your face. Both. It's easy, just hang on. And then you bend your knees. The deeper you bend, the higher you jump. This doesn't jump for you, this helps you jump higher. Right? The key to jumping is bending and pushing. All right? You're each going to get five jumps. So we get one turn in the moonwalk today. One turn, once you get five jumps. Uh, again, 80 pounds or less. If I ask you to, you have to step on the scale. If the arm goes up on the scale, that means you weigh more than 80 pounds. You're too strong. Who's done this before? Anyone ever done this before? Okay. Will you demonstrate, please? Yeah. Right around there. I weigh right 80 pounds, so I can do it. I weigh 40 pounds. I weigh 60 pounds. Okay, that's what you do. It's as if the gravity is going away. I'm going to bring, bring Luke down and say he weighs about 8 pounds, so I can pick him up like this. Right? There's not a lot of gravity holding Luke to the ground right now. All right? Bend your knees. Jump. Push. There you go.
They going tight. Bend those knees. And honey. Get in line and stay by the stay by the stairs so you get a turn. Okay, go ahead, honey. Come over here now. Are we ready? You guys looking for fossils? You guys want to make some bubbles? I want, I want to make some bubbles. Right, right over there. Make some bubbles? Okay, I'm going to walk over here. When you're ready, come over here, okay? Angela, you want you want a bubble thing? Whoop. Thank you. 
Gets touchy? What do you think? Kind of big, huh? Okay, let's keep going. Oh, gross. You're touching his tongue. <laughs> Now you don't go, don't go behind the rope, but you can step up to the rope so everyone can see. Go ahead.
take very good care of her children. She would have gone out and got leaves and berries and brought them back to the babies in the nest. And she would have taken her young children dinosaurs and taught them where to find food that was good to eat. So she was a very good mother, and Myasaura actually means good mother lizard. Now you'll notice that these robots here are a pinkish color, and you've seen a lot of different colored robots so far today. But scientists will never be able to know for sure what color the dinosaurs were, because we've only found their bones, their inside parts fossilized. We don't know what color they were on the outside. I got the corner here. Those are like, that's how they buried the eggs a little bit. That's a nest. Are they males? Dinosaur nest. Are they real eggs? See, I hope there's no dinosaurs in there, Amanda. No, You're awfully brave sticking your hand in a dinosaur nest. Is that, is there, is those Did you guys get a good look at that last one over there, the babies with the baby eggs? No. I oh, come and look. Come and see. No, you got to see this. I want to see the others because I didn't get a good look at all of them. Well, let's go this way. Come here. I want to. Come here, here, girls. Come here. You got to see this. Tape oh yeah, somebody. That was when they made the nest. They they had to Tape pack it. it with their feet. Tape it. Okay. See the little babies and everything. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? It's adorable. It's adorable. I know. They're so cute. I saw those guys. I didn't see the guys. What the was the mom? Now, if you want to use your camera and take any pictures, just tell me. No, they're all gone. Oh, they're all gone. Oh, you did? Okay, good. Alright. No, Daddy. I'm just gonna... I'm on. Do you want to go back? you want to go backwards and go back the other way? Yeah, I'm going to go this way because I didn't get a good look at all. Okay, let's go back to... No running, no running. What do you call... What do you call dinosaurs that eat plants? No? Well, yeah, but they call them herbivores. Yeah. That's really gross, isn't it? I'm gonna have nightmares about this. How is that still alive? How, well, it wasn't when they when they attacked them. They animals. It's like even in the jungle, they Guys, eat animals while they're alive. They don't. They don't. You know, so don't pull on them. It would be dead pretty soon. Not supposed to touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. They'll cut. They have cameras in here. They'll see you. Yep. This guy's. Why do they call them boneheads? Because they have bones on them. I think you're right. Look at his eyes. His eyes. They even blink their eyes. Wow, cool. No running. Hey, don't lean on the ropes. Okay. 
Okay. What, what's his name? That's it. An Apatosaurus. We want to do the scavenger hunt now. All right. Well, let's go take a look and see if we can. No, I know we can. That's what they ate. Flowers, aren't they? They ate really beautiful flowers. They ate good. What kind of animal is this? What kind of dinosaur is this? Triceratops. You can, it says you can touch it, but it says you can't climb on it. I've been taping you the whole time. Okay. Okay, let's go look at the the T Rex. Now see, now that's something I could have nightmares about. Okay, okay, okay. Someone else have a turn. Amanda, that hurt. I don't know, but he doesn't look like a happy one. I think so. But that's the way nature works. We gotta get going in a cup in about a minute and a half, kids. Okay? I don't think we have time. So I think in about the count of five, we gotta go. You're not even gonna have time to print it, kids. There we go. Do you think he looks good in that? You can try, but we, we really gotta go. I don't even know where the printer is. There may not even be a printer here. Uh, I think you gotta say done. But we gotta go, kids, so let's throw our coats on and get out to that bus, okay? I know, but we do have to go, guys. Hold on.